You know, I was going back and forth with Edward on Telegram about this chick on uh, Melly Monica and the pineapple girl, Jalea. And uh, I kept seeing it and people kept asking me about it. I don't know why these things make the rounds and are so uh, intent. But hey, some things go viral and people commented on them and and I've seen like hell like 20 videos on it but I guess if things go viral like that subscribers always ask you about doing a response to it and see what your thoughts are and I'm always controversial sometimes I see things in, in situations people don't and I get upset and sometimes people get upset about things that I don't think are a big deal like this one is not a big deal to me I'm going to tell you why. Before I saw the video, people were actually talking about it and talked about him and her, him being a nuclear physicist, which is kind of rare, kind of elite. And this chick turning him down or saying pineapple on this show. So I thought, OK, well, you know, if she didn't give him a chance to talk and she turned down nuclear physicists and said, OK, that's. In the very beginning, it sounded like a mismatch, but people kept saying he should have had game and he should have been this, that, or the other. And the reason that he didn't get her is because he's too square. He couldn't relate. And uh, I saw Rom say the same thing. So I said, okay, it must just have been, you know, he wasn't socially acceptable to her. He couldn't get her attention. Even though he looked like he could because uh, he would be considered conventionally handsome by most black women. From what I see. Mixed martial artists, lifts weights, all that kind of stuff. So I thought he was reasonably handsome to uh, be chosen. So I decided to go ahead and just watch the video. You know, since somebody put the link in, so I should watch the video. And uh, he was on for like a, a minute, which is probably longer than most people people on that because it's a speed dating thing right that's what it's supposed to be speed dating guys come up guys shoot their shot and she rejects them which from what I I see about that particular segment that Melly Monaco actually does that is about right normally it takes maybe like 15-20 seconds he actually lasted longer than most guys so that is kudos in his corner but after hearing him talk and hearing her talk i said there's no way that these people should even be matched together i said how do people get matched like this and why is he calling in why is he dialing in to check her out couldn't figure it out then i realized this is just a game and we're taking this way too seriously because I don't think if they met in a club that they would actually get together other than for a one night stand because they're so incompatible it's ridiculous he's more upscale bourgeoisie middle class probably in suburbia because he already talks probably he's probably a uh, an army brat for the way he talks because he has a, a homogenized way of speaking for lack of a better term she doesn't and I found out what she does. She's a Atlanta Hawks dancer, NBA dancer, and she's in entertainment. So she's looking for somebody's compatible to her that's probably in entertainment. Singer, rapper, athlete, actor, something like that. That would be more her speed. And I didn't even think anything of it. They're not compatible. Because if, if he did get a date with her, I'd be asked, dude, what are you doing? You know she's not compatible with you. You are a square. You're a nuclear physicist. And there's nothing wrong with being a square. 
Because to do what you do, you're going to have to be. There are very few guys that do what uh, he does or attempting to do what he does that aren't squares. Okay? You have to be. You have to have that settled square lifestyle to be able to do that kind of stuff. Otherwise, you're going to go nuts. So this kind of chick that's in entertainment, probably semi-wild, is the wrong girl for him. So I would ask him, what is he doing choosing this chick? And vice versa. This chick trying to choose this guy. If you're going to get bored with him, you're probably going to cheat on him or you're probably going to run around on him. There's no way you two should be together. At all. At all. Everybody has their own opinion on it. And my opinion is no different than anybody else's. They're no more important than anybody else's. But this will serve as my thoughts on the matter i've done it behind the scenes i've done it on some people's panels and me and edward have gone back and forth about this guy and i see this as no big deal he's not right for her and she's not right for him end of they this should have taken about 30 seconds as soon as he opened his mouth soon as she opened hers okay this is not a match now unless they're really feeling each other and it's kind of hard to get a feel for each other through the internet and especially on a speed dating segment on a youtube channel i don't care what his title is the vast majority of any women are not going to choose a nuclear physicist to be a boyfriend with to have as a boyfriend or a husband a very small percentage of the population will actually choose this kind of guy and rightfully so rightfully so because he's going to require a very dedicated wife or dedicated girlfriend to be with him. Other than that, you know, you're in the Navy, dude. You're gonna every port's gonna have a girl. He's not even worried about it because he said he was shipping out in the at the end of the month. Go be happy. Same thing with her. Go be happy. Go find your dude. With that, I'm gonna jump off here. This is BGS out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>